So it's true. He's dead? I am sorry that it did not happen in front of cameras. That's all right. There's always another story. But tell me this. You killed the guy who started this all, exposed UEDs for what they are, and made sure they won't replace cops. You contained the riots and at least postponed the creation of Delta City. What is your question? After doing all that, why is no one celebrating? That is not why we do this. What a thankless job. Actually, maybe that's a story worth pursuing. Would Channel 9 be interested? Funny you should say that. I'm considering jumping ship. I realize that blindly chasing a story that would nail OCP made me hurt a lot of people who didn't deserve it. Mainly you. There's this local paper that does what I always said I wanted to do. They help people in the community and give them a voice. Oh, and it probably wasn't clear, but I tried to hide an I'm sorry somewhere in all this. Noted. I'm glad. See you out there, Robo. You will. Ah, seriously, man, I'm done for. Oh, I get you. I've been there too. No. You caught me sleeping at the desk. It's like I'm trying to convince you that I'm not cut out to be an officer. We are all tired. I talked to Reed and he said that someone from OCP already contacted him. Since the UEDs turned out to be a bust, they'll be reinstating everyone. Everyone that meets the criteria, of course. Since Becca no longer needs me, I think that's the end of my career. Will that stop you from sending in another application? What? No, never. You can count on my recommendation, officer. You do that for me? I don't know what to say. Thank you, Robocop. It's been an honor. So, Antonowski finally got what he deserved. Damn right! No escaping the grave. I'm so tired I can't move a muscle. Oh, that's a shame, because the guy from the Holy Cow joint came by earlier and left a tray of burgers in the staff room as a thank you for our work. Shut your mouth! It is safe out there again. Oh, thank you. But I felt pretty safe ever since you left me with your partner, Officer Lewis. Feisty little thing, isn't she? She makes me feel safe, too. My time here is over. I'm sorry that my work contributed to causing you so much pain. You could not have known. Did our meetings change how you perceive machines, Doctor? Well, that was never the purpose. Anyway, I'll finish up collecting my things, and I'll be on my way. Goodbye, Robocop. You don't look so hot. Was your neighborhood affected by the riots? I don't know. Once they begin, I was too afraid to leave this place. I locked myself in a storage locker. I get it. I'd probably do the same. This precinct really makes you feel secure. Got Wendell. Over the course of our relationship, 
I've grown enough to admit that it was mostly you who took down Wendell. So, good job, Tin Man. That guy brought a lot of suffering to this city. The phone calls I got from people begging for help made my stomach turn. It was overwhelming. At first, I didn't know what to do. But that did not stop you. You proved competent. Not to pat myself on the back, but I really did. Just, who knew that selflessly helping others is so exhausting? And rewarding. Yeah, you may be onto something there. I checked on the folks that called in to make sure they're safe. And they were. Uh, but now, I need to catch up on my beauty sleep. I can't believe I'm the only one here. Don't they know there are mattresses back here? They probably mind the vomit stains. Mm. Beggars can't be choosers. See you around, partner. Robo, Lewis was looking for you. She's in the locker room. That you, partner? You're back. So it's done. It is. Did Wendell do one of his kill him speeches after which he always leaves? He did. What a cheese ball. So, are you gonna stand around like that the whole day? Come on, sit down. A lot of things have changed since I wasn't around. For one, I've heard that there's another woman in your life. Another woman? Dr. Blanche, seems that you two spent a lot of time talking together. I'm glad that there was someone you could lean on while I was away. You've been under a lot of pressure lately. It felt like every night at the hospital I was seeing your face on the news. People trying to dissect your every word, question who you are, your past, your future. I wanted to say how proud I am that despite having all those people look at you under a microscope, you remain so composed. I know I wouldn't handle it that well. So, how did you do that? I had help. Oh, that little thing? It served as a reminder of who I am, who I have always been. A great police officer? Among other things. I just want you to know that if you ever need to talk... I know, Lewis. Thank you. So, what's next for us, partner? Our morning shift is about to start. I'll get my gear. You've got to see this! Moments ago, what was reported as an unidentified creature has entered the OCB headquarters and is creating havoc. Reports of numerous casualties are coming in. No one seems to know what caused the chaos. And most importantly, who is going to stop it? I guess the shift's starting early. Ready, partner? I was born ready. What the hell? It's like a hurricane came through. Stay alert. At least we have chopper support. Huh, no such luck. That's a TV helicopter. They're here already? We have wounded. What happened here? It... It was furious. It destroyed everything in its path. What did? A monster. Robo, 
I'm in the Channel 9 helicopter. I'm seeing a lot of movement on the executive floor. I know exactly where that is. We need to get up there. No, get the injured out of the building. I will handle what is up there. You sure? Positive. You heard him. Let's evacuate everyone. Hurry up! Murphy, we're finding more and more wounded, and they're all giving me consistent descriptions. So unless everyone is getting it wrong, there's an old friend waiting for you upstairs. You can expect... Trouble? That's right. Make sure there is no one left in the building. Will do, partner. I see you. That thing just moved to the western corner of the executive floor. It... it something... I... Are you getting this? All of it. That's the OCP board you're seeing. They were supposed to vote on the new CEO. I guess someone didn't like the candidate they chose. OCP is finished after this. What do you want from me? Robocop! My number one guy. There seems to be a misunderstanding. Robocop, I wanted to leave you a message before I undergo this procedure. It has been a long and laborious process, but it has given me the opportunity to observe you closely. The old old man! Uh, that you! I I didn't know! I I, I didn't mean to! Only now do I truly understand what others see in you. I realize why they cheer you on. And it is because they can look past your metal exterior and see that somehow you haven't lost your humanity. That puts my mind at ease. You made me realize that I do not have to fear what is about to happen. I can remain human, as you have. Selfless and devoted to something bigger than myself. Uncorruptible. And that is what I always strive to be, Woodrock Murphy. I cannot wait to see what the future has in store for us. You sold the city's future. That leaves one question. Scrapyard or prison creep? What the hell was that? 
that. Just an old friend. Thank you.